Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way to the painted world of Ariamis. Hopefully, that's the right way to pronounce it. If it's not, oh well, I'm just going to roll with it. So, before we get started going there, I want to show everybody we have the wolf ring on. And also, in the last video, I didn't tell everybody about this, but if you put the ring of favor and protection on and you take it off, it's going to break. So keep that in mind. If you don't want to use it, don't put it on because when you take it off, it's going to break. There is a way to get a second one. But you have to go to Snuggly and trade an item for it. You can look that up on um, Line. I'm sure there's somewhere that has all of that on there. Matter of fact, I posted everything you can get from Snuggly in a past episode. So there's always that. Just wanted to give a warning for that ring. And one other thing, I did kindle the bonfire right outside the door here just because we're going to be fighting a few enemies and it's just better to have 10 Estus than 5 or whatever I had before. All right. So let's go ahead and do something sacrilegious. We're going to kill Guinevere here or well, at least her illusion. Thou that tarnisheth the Godmother's image, I am Gwendolyn. And thy transgression shall not go unpunished. Thou shalt perish in the twilight of Anor Londo. All right, Anor Londo has gone dark. It is in a constant state of twilight now. So we're not going to have those guardian sentinels here anymore. We're actually going to have two enemies that once we kill, they will not respawn. Kill the boulder guy first. He can parry you, so be careful. And he he's pretty good at it. And this guy has got the great sword, so just try not to get hit by him because it hurts. It hurts a lot. There we go. Got those two guys down. And now we have one more enemy to beat. She's just out these doors here. And I'll let her dialogue play and then I'll continue talking afterwards. Well, after we fight her because she's got a bit of dialogue after we kill her as well. She's really not hard. Not at all. And you can already see her right down there. So it was you, was it? How dare you produce a blade upon a deity? How did you ever get this far? I shall end your suffering here and now. It is the least that I can do. But how? This man is a threat, Master Gwendolyn. We get a Firekeeper Soul from her. We can use that to upgrade our Estus Flask a little later. Once we go back to Firelink Shrine, we'll go ahead and revive the Bonfire Keeper there and then use that Firekeeper Soul to upgrade our Estus Flask. And then I think what we'll do after is talk to King Seeker Framp 
get the Lord vessel put on it um, on the kiln, and then head down to New Londo. I think we'll do New Londo first. That way we can upgrade our sword to max or claymore. There is a ton of painted knights down here, so just be careful. It's kind of why I put the wolf ring on, so we don't get staggered. Good lord, they're all throwing knives at me. Wow, just missed that. Really? These guys are on top of it today, aren't they? We got four more to kill. Well, three here and then one more off in the distance. Grab great magic weapon. If you're a sorcerer, you can use that on whatever weapon you're using. Right here, we're going to pillage this corpse. We're going to get the black iron set along with the great sword and the black iron great shield. Let's go ahead and go over to the painting and I will see everybody after the cutscene. Welcome everybody to the painted world of Ariamis. You have no clue on how long I practiced that name the other day. Ugh. I probably am still pronouncing it wrong. Right here we're going to light this bonfire. We're going to sit at it. And we're going to kindle it. One other thing I'm going to do, just so we don't have to deal with it, is I'm going to put the Great Sword away and the Great Shield away as well. That way it's not taking up space in our inventory and we can switch back and forth fairly easily with the weapons we have. Let's kill these guys and then we'll switch over to Quaylag's Fury Sword. Oh wow. Those guys messed me up. I'm gonna restart this real quick. I'd like to start off on a better foot. Grab out our bow. We're going to shoot the rope that that body's hanging from. Grab some humanity. Careful, got an archer here. But we also have some hollows as well. Right here, we have some new enemies. If you kill them with a regular weapon that doesn't have fire on it, they're going to spew out toxic. And it's going to make you toxic. So kill them with a fire weapon or a fire bomb or something.
And then we're gonna heal ourselves real quick. We're gonna have two crow ladies fly down. Or guys. I don't really know what they are. They're crows. We're gonna take them out real quick. They're not too hard. Grab some twin humanities. Stupid rat. Bouncing off the wall. Oh, grabbed an extra humanity. Awesome. Soul of a brave warrior. Did that drop something? No. Just the shine of its fur, I guess. Right down there is where we came from. We're going to take out this archer. Then we're going to have two guys pop up. Take those guys out. Oh, I missed them. I'm going to cut this down real quick. this guy. Let's heal ourselves again because we keep getting hit. Also, if you press forward R1, you'll do like a backflip. It's pretty cool. You can do that and then swing again. This guy might fall down. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just run across and jump. Grab ourselves another soul item. We'll go down that... Well, actually, we, we won't go down the ladder. But we'll be coming up that ladder a little later. Grab that item right there. Take a left. We have a hollow. Grab the large soul of a proud knight. Then we're going to take these steps up. Be careful. We're going to have three crows to fight. And they can be assholes on a narrow walkway here. They're not typically that bad. It's just when you're fighting them on something narrow. It makes them a little difficult. Because you're trying not to fall off. Grab the red sign soapstone. You can put uh, an invasion sign down and people can summon you in. So you can duel them. Now hop off right here. And grab this item. And then we're going to hop down one more time. Onto the stairs. And what I'm going to do instead of using an Estus. Just so I can show this to everybody. If you pop a humanity... You'll gain your health back. So if you're like really in need of health and you don't have very many Estus and you don't want to wear, uh, wear them, <laughs> don't want to use them, then just uh, use a piece of humanity if you have it. This guy's going to wake up and chase us. Just run backwards. Run away! Jurassic Park moment right here. Now, this guy doesn't take as long to kill, so I'm not going to cut the video. I'll just show us killing him. Probably won't have too much dialogue, though, as I'm killing him.
There we go. Be careful, don't immediately step down or else you're gonna get hurt by the poison. Grab ourselves a dragon scale. We can two-hand our Quaylag's Fury again. We're going to go through this fog wall. And we're going to kill all these Phalanx. Be careful, they're really not that strong, but they do pack a punch. Try not to get hit like me. Just getting smacked around by these guys. There's one more. Just die, bud. Right here is the body that we knocked down earlier. Has a humanity. We get a ton of humanity here. Then we get a ring of sacrifice. Down this well, you you can go down there. There'll be some bone wheels. We're not going to go that way. Sorry, had a hiccup. Up there, we're going to be going in just a moment. First, we want to open up these doors. This is a shortcut. This will lead straight back to the bonfire. This is going to be part of our soul farm here in a little bit. So real quick, we're just going to switch over to the Claymore. Careful behind you. Maybe, I don't know. That guy was stupid. I don't know what he was doing. Let's just heal ourselves just in case. You can never be too careful. We're going to get invaded here in a minute, so we're going to two-hand. Get some soul items and then run straight back up to the steps here. Take out King Jeremiah. We're going to pick up some humanity. And we're going to pick up a notched whip. Uh, I was thinking about switching over to Quaylag's Fury. Get Acid Surge. We'll wait to switch to Quaylag's Fury just for a moment. Just because of the bone wheel skeletons. It's easier to kill them with our stronger weapon here. Before going down those steps, take a left. Want to grab an item. Get Soul of a Proud Knight. Right here you could have smacked that rope. And it would have knocked the body down by the way. But we already did that earlier. Using our boo. Alright. Let's grab our shield out. You want to be using your shield whenever these bone wheels come at you. And do not take your eye off of them. Or eyes. I don't know. Some people might only have one eye. <laughs> but most people have two. They do have a chance to drop the bone wheel shield. Which is a really cool looking shield.
Okay, so there's three of them over here. My advice to everybody is use your bow to lure out one at a time. You don't want to fight all three of them or even two of them at a time. You're just going to get wrecked. I mean, you might come out unscathed, but for the most part, they do a lot of damage. And they can stagger pretty easily. Just because they have that constant attack where they're rolling. Let's grab this item over here. We've got one more left. Jesus, he went all the way over there, didn't he? Grab a soul of a brave warrior. And then we're going to turn this um, handle here. By the way, that opens up the door up top. I didn't really show it off, but it opens up a door that we couldn't open. We have a bone wheel to the left here. Keep him stuck right here or else he's going to go pretty far. If we go to the right, we can see this is the well we could have come down originally. We just didn't need to. Trying to be extremely careful here. Very tight quarters can be pretty scary. Just to show everybody what happens whenever they die, there's that toxic mist. You gotta roll away really quickly. Get fire surge. And then we come out here, take a left, smack this wall, and then to our left is one more bone bone wheel. Bone wheel? Holy moly. I wasn't waiting for him to spin. And then we get the annex key. We're going to use that in just a moment. Turn around. Hit this wall. And then to our left... We can exit if we want to. We're not going to go that way. We're actually going to come down this way. Go right. And go out the well. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing for everybody. It's easy to get lost in that little bit of a catacomb. It's not much of a catacomb. But it's just enough to be like, what the fuck is going on? Let's put Quaylag's Fury on one more time. Open up this door. We'll grab Velka's rapier. This guy saw us. Usually he doesn't see us. That's interesting. Oh, it was this guy. I thought it was the guy that was patrolling up top there. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Let's wait for these uh, crows. Oh, one already came down. I did not see her or him or it. Thing. 
Yes, we have two to fight, as always. Usually two of them. Grab the Dark Ember. Kill this guy here. And then up here, we can grab the Miracle Vow of Silence. Over to the right, you can go over there, drop off if you'd like. We're not going to do that. We're actually going to come over here and grab the Velka set and then hop down. Right here, we'll get another soul item. And then, instead of hopping down and taking a ton of damage, I like to run, jump over to this section here. You can come down this way, which, you know what? We'll do that. We'll kill this guy real quick. And then there will be two rats over here. Take them out. There's nothing out here. Just a courtyard here. Right here is a chest. Get the painted guardian set. And then what we'll do is instead of running all the way back, we'll use ourselves a homeward bone. I should have went the other way. I'll see everybody back at the bonfire. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to show everybody the soul farm. The soul farm works like this. We kill this hollow and then these two. And we run out here. And we kill all these phalanx. We don't die first. And then if you have the Homeward Miracle, you can always use a Talisman and use Homeward and go straight back to the bonfire. I didn't level up my faith enough to use Homeward, even though I bought the Miracle itself. I just ended up being like, eh. Same with like Iron Flesh, I just didn't feel the need. All right, let's go back to our Claymore here. And we're just going to dodge this guy. We're not going to fight the Phalanx. We're just going to run past. Later, after the video, I'm going to do some soul farming and probably get up to 40 across the board. We'll see. Might only be 35. Depends on how much time I'm willing to spend farming souls in the painted world of Ariamis. Be careful. You got a guy right here. As he smacks me in the face a few times. You know, no big deal. Take this guy out. Take that guy out. Spoil the ambush if you can. The guy with the bow is just super annoying. And then we have one of the big boys. He's actually got a great sword. So be careful. He's a little faster than the other guys. Oh, fuck off with that. 
pick us up a large titanite shard i'm not sure if he drops titanite sh well large titanite shards every time but it seems like it for me all right we're gonna go see everybody's real waifu here quay legs kind of sort of everybody's waifu but here's the real waifu for everyone priscilla Let's heal up real quick and then we'll talk to her. Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get behind her, hit her tail once. I expected as much from thee. Why does thee hurry toward thine death? She's right here. Just gotta hit her twice. And then we hit her tail. Now let's kill her. We get the soul of Priscilla and twin humanities. So make sure that you have a load screen back like a homeward bone, um, just so this item will appear here. If you don't, then the Xanthus set will not appear. Okay, that's for killing King Jeremiah earlier. All right, let's uh, head back to Anne Orlando. I'll see everybody after the cutscene. All right, we got a homeward bone, and we're back at Anne Orlando. Let's just run past all these painted knights. We don't need to fight them. It's not worth our time. You can either go that way, which, well, the bonfire is not lit anymore because we killed the bonfire keeper. Or you can go this way, where there is a bonfire. We could have went down towards where Gwendolyn is. But I prefer to end the video up where Guinevere was. Even though it's a longer run. I don't know. I don't know, man. Now it should be a little easier, by the way, if anybody wants to go to the blacksmith. You don't have all those enemies in your way blocking your path and fighting through them. You can just run straight to the giant blacksmith. Real quick, we're going to level up. Let's use the soul of Priscilla. Then we're going to use our five souls of a brave warrior. And we'll use these three souls. And then use these six souls. Alright. 
Let's level up. See how far we can go with it. No, not bad. 73? Alright. Well, that's not too bad. We'll end the video right about here. So I would like to tell everybody once again, thank you for stopping by and watching the video. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, go ahead and subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne. Signing off.